Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how and what I use to control all my aquaponics equipment, including my solar tracker. I'm going to start with my old uh, 1450 Solo Gateway laptop with an XP operating system. I've had this computer forever and uh, it's going to work great for this project. And the actual control of this system is going to be from a Denkovi LPT8 relay board. And I bought this uh, online and this is an 8 relay relay board and this is going to be controlled from my laptop it plugs right into the LPT port now of course one of my major concerns with this was going to be the added wattage that was going to be taken up by running this computer so what I did was I plugged it in I got both the operating systems running and found out how many amps that was I multiplied that times 120 the household current to give me my watts I come up with 15.6 watts which isn't too bad I can offset that no problem Denkovi has its own software to run with the um, relay boards the only problem I found was that it seems like it's only designed for their relay boards that work with internet and mine only works with the LPT port and for whatever reason it wasn't it wouldn't work with my XP uh, computer which was okay I had tried another software before and was a lot happier with this other software so I end up purchasing this hot time software and I really like it very easy to work with I plugged it in I downloaded it to the to the computer and switched it on and it synced right up with my relays and it uh, it works great this is the main page of the software and this allows you to pick the one through eight relays and label each one of them and next to each one it'll tell you the status whether it's off or on and then there's a number next to that and once you push that that takes you to the time sheet which will let you set your times it has an on off and an auto mode it tells you the status and then you can go down through the start times it has one through ten start times and you can start the times any any time you want and also the run time is next to that for how long you want it to run for you can do one second all the way up to twenty three fifty nine minutes twenty three hours fifty nine minutes what i've done with my solar tracker is i have set this for every 15 minutes it's going to pulse for two seconds and it's going to track the sun across the sky since it only goes ten times I can only do it ten for ten times per page I've, I've done two pages so it'll start tracking west at nine o'clock in the morning twenty separate times and it'll finish at uh, 145 in the afternoon I have the timer set for it to track east at about 6 o'clock at night for 20 seconds and that will reset the solar panels for in the morning. This is the times for the fish feeder, 5.30 in the morning it will pulse, pulse twice and also 5.30 at night. This software does allow you to use inputs to control the relays. It's a nice extra feature and right now I'm not going to be using it but uh, maybe in the future. I can uh, add this. Another nice feature about using a computer is that you can download software to help control uh, other things like I downloaded this calendar which um, allows me to keep track of when I plant certain plants, when I clean or do maintenance on the, the ponds for the fish or, or any kind of um, thing that I need to keep a schedule on. Um, it really helps keep me organized. Okay, now I'm going to take you through the steps of the everything operating. Solar tracker turns on, turns the relay on, and the solar tracker moves. Goes off, and you'll see the relay switch off, and then you'll see the solar tracker will stop. Now this also works for the fish feeder which I have pulsed twice so it's going to pulse on then off then on again turns the relay bottom right of your screen there it'll pulse on 
off, then on again, and then you'll see it actually operate the fish feeder. Pulse on, off, then on again.